Research complete. Hey hello guys uh, my name is Pradeep Mal let's start a new tutorial 23 dynamic event and user event okay this one is part number 3 and please remember guys first you need to watch this two tutorial that is also related to this one okay this one is part 1 this is a basic level and the uh, next level is part 2 okay and the advanced level this one I will explain you step by step okay guys and link in uh, description and otherwise you can search here live user event part 2 or part 1 okay guys okay now let's start first you need to create a project and click to black blank project and click to finish okay and wait a few seconds yeah this pop up okay file and you can use uh, create project okay now what we do let's first we need to save this project okay and click to okay yes now click to my computer right click here and go to new and you need to use the vi here and first you need to save this one and the name I will use the uh, like a uh, user uh, event okay and click to okay yeah close this one next right click here and click to new vi and save this one and the name is I'm and here uh, like publish publish okay remember yes close this one the last one we need to create subscriber save and the name is subscriber okay guys and click to okay yeah close this one yes guys now i have the one publish va subscriber next is user event first we will work on user event because we need to define which uh, user event we need okay which data type okay now uh, double click to user event yeah this one press ctrl t yeah and let i am hint here a uh, user event yes now uh, come to the block diagram and right click here and first you need to use uh, go to the measurement io nidaq advanced daq mx events and you need to use the first create user event because it's depend upon you okay guys click here and this first one is user event data type you need to give the data type okay let uh yeah first i'm go to the boolean and i'm use this boolean okay yes guys in this video i'm give the one example and in the next video i'm give the another example okay that is the part number four yes now what we do first we need to store the data okay now once now what you do go to the structure and create a case structure okay yes and yes guys okay and you need to give the condition here and right now we need to run the ones because it store the data yeah and now what we do guys we, we need to run the ones okay in a every uh, every run time okay when i click to run then it's give the true then false right click here go to this one and use the first call it's give the first call okay when you click to run this vi then it's give the true value and after it's give the false value okay in every run time okay uh, when you click to run and after that you the true value then false okay guys okay yeah now you see uh, first uh, you see there have a user event out now click to this one and connect to this and very very important guys now press control space and you need to search the feedback feedback not okay because we need to store the data okay and uh, what we do click here and connect to this terminal and in then the output you need to connect to this one yes guys okay why we store the data because it's give the ones true and after it is give the false and in the first time we need to receive the same data type that's why we need to use the feedback not yes guys okay and click to true yes now what we do okay now and you see right now it's a break condition okay list error okay and which type of error it's give because it say you need to give the name of this user event data type okay let i will explain you how right click here and create a let i am use the label okay and right now i went here like a, a user event okay and when i click to this one and you see the error is gone okay i think you understand what's going on here okay right click visible item label yes now everything is done guys go to false yes and true yes now very very important guys right click here and create an indicator this one is our user event 
yes now let's modify this vi this one is our user event okay now we need to create this error in and error out then how we can do this press ctrl t and let's search here uh, error in okay this one space error out okay and they have two error in 3d and error 3 out okay 3d but right now let i choose the simple yes guys this one and this one okay now error in click and click to view as icon and you need to connect this terminal uh, first terminal here like this okay let's modify yes yeah, same for the error out right click and view as icon you need to connect this one and connect to this terminal here like this okay and go to the false condition and you need to connect directly this terminal yes guys now press ctrl t and let's modify again okay now you see there have a this modify this icon this vi icon okay now what you do right click here and you need to use the uh, edit icon okay and uh, wait a few seconds yes guys and uh, go to the icon text okay and you need to enter here otherwise what you do let's i'm clean this one and there have option maybe uh uh yes this one and click to cross uh, sorry click to this one and click to cross yes now everything is done go to text icon and i meant here uh user okay user and enter here event events user events okay and let's i'm create the one boundary here like this like this same here and this one okay and click to okay yeah and you see the icon is changed user event and we need to give the input and outputs okay and the this is input error in okay what we do first you need to uh, choose the uh, this icon or this terminal okay and press the control right now i'm press the control and you need to select this error in same uh, this one okay after click to this one press the control and you need to click the error out like this okay you see it's to define right now this is our output because you see uh, when i go to the true and this one is give the user event output then what we do we need to give the output here let's and choose this one okay and press the control and you need to select this user event you see right now i have three terminal one is array in second error out and this one is last is our user event output okay now what you do let's uh, modify uh, this vi okay and uh, yes like this okay that's why let's i'm hide yes and i am only defining the user event here okay because help of this you can easy to understand yes and let i'm save the my vi let i'm close this one okay uh yes yes guys now let's come on the publish because we need to publish the data double click to publish and press the control t okay and come here right now what you do right click here and go to measurement then ni then advance and take out events and right now what we do we need to generate event this one yeah select here yes this one is user event okay guys and right now what we do yeah user event now right click here go to structure and let i'm click the while loop for continuity operation now uh, right click here visible item choose the label this is generate event uh, generate user event and you see right now first is user event you need to give the user event we already created user event okay uh, now what we do right click here and you need to use the select vi okay and you see i already created here this publish subscriber user event this one okay click to this one click to okay and you see okay in the previous this uh, vi uh, we already covered now this one is user event and same this is user event you need to connect this one and connect to here okay and this is defined use the uh, data type that is boolean okay this color wire this wire color yes guys and this one is error in same the error out yeah and uh, you see user event you need to give the data event data okay let what we do let uh, i will create the one logic 
okay go to the boolean and first time use the not gate okay and next is control space use search the feedback node okay connect here yes guys and let's i will modify uh yes uh, yes now first terminal you need to connect here and the second terminal you need to connect here it means first it's uh, like first it's give the value okay uh, like false to true and okay true then it's store the data true and then it's convert true to false okay because it's not gate not gate when you give the one value then it's uh, next uh, time it's give the zero and the next time what you do uh, when it's zero then it's uh, give the one like this okay like true then false false then true now and you see user event and you need to connect to directly here okay right now you need to use the delay okay otherwise it's give a uh, very fast blinking and you're not able to see what's going on now what we do click go to timing wait uh, wait a while right click and create a constant amount here like 200 milliseconds yes guys uh, it's done right click create a control and press the control T okay and let's modify here yes guys now let uh control s okay now save this vi yes and close this one yes the next one is subscriber it's important guys uh help with this publish we need to subscribe the data open this one uh yes press control t and right now what we do right click here and go to the measurement io ni advance and da, daq event and right now what you do we need to use the register for events this one right click structure and create a while loop for again the continuity operation and uh, yes guys yeah this one is event registration refnum okay and this one is e uh, event source okay you need to give the event and uh, uh, we already created right click and go to the select vi and choose this one user event okay and uh, you need to use the user event and you need to connect this one this is the user event guys yes now what we do let uh, yes let i will explain you wait uh, okay now uh, yes uh sorry guys and let's first uh, remove this one and uh, let's i'm uh, remove while loop yes i'm uh, really sorry for this and uh, right now right click and create a structure a while loop okay this one yes now what we do use the measurement io naq dq advance and dq event and you need to use this event structure okay this one so drag here yes and right now what we do yes guys let's again modify and uh, yes you need to use this event registration refnum and you need to connect here like this okay yeah now again same this one you need to connect here and again right click measurement io and nidq advance and dqmx events and you need to use this the unregistered for events yes and this one is you need to connect here yes guys now very important and right click here and you need to use the edit event handle this case and you see we already created this user event and this is the name of user event okay and click to okay yes guys this one yeah right now what you do click to this one and you see they have a user event okay you need to select this one uh, okay let's we create the uh, uh, indicator right click and i'm use the silver okay this silver and boolean let i choose this led here yeah let's increase the size like this okay and uh, yes guys now what we do you need to connect this terminal to here okay and yes now everything is done yeah very important guys right click and create a control uh yes now press control t and uh let's modify now this one is complete let's uh control s and close this one this one is subscriber data and yes let's uh modify the publish yeah automatic led on off and uh, let i will give the name here and again give the title 
yes uh, press control s close this one yes everything is done now press control s save this project and now first open the user event okay next open the publish yes and next open the subscriber this one guys the so right now we have three va one is user event next means publish the data it's publish the data and it subscribe the data okay right now i'm uh, give the one example okay in the next part okay i'll give the another example of the same programming and little modification uh, uh, help every time uh, create the uh, multiple user events and then a uh, different different vim uh, subscribe the data okay now let's test okay when i click to run this one and it's give the only it's run only once you see it's only runs once why this time press the control e and i will explain you how sorry uh, yeah i will explain you how this icon it's work uh, press this one highlight and click to run and you see it's give the true once and then it's give the false and turn off va you see right now the our va is turned off it's working like this okay now let's close this one i think you remember now first we need to run the uh, this publish the data and you see and you see it's working you see it's run uh, it's you see it's waiting to run okay it's sub vi waiting to run now you need to run to this subscriber because it's published the data and it's waiting to a subscriber when received like i'm going to run and right now you see it's subscribe the data you see yes now when i click to stop and you see right now it's not able to receive the data okay it's amazing you can create a multiple projects help of this example uh, now what to do let i'm turn off the whole vi yeah yes like this okay now again click to run this publish the data and again click to subscriber and you see it's received the data okay guys it's working well in the next video i will give the another example create the multiple events okay and help with different different vi i mean subscribe the different different topics yes guys and you can create everything like help with this store button you can turn off different vi help of a single button okay and thank you so much if you really like this video please like and share our channel and please share to your friends thank you so much